The air is growing cooler. It's autumn, okay? It is autumn, it is fall, it is nice, it is a time for pumpkin spice lattes and spooky things. And that makes my soul so happy. Unfortunately, I'm in LA, so we don't get to see the trees turn orange and yellow and all those fun colors, okay? But I have seen fall, and it's the most beautiful season. That doesn't mean that I'm not in the mood for fall stuff. I love fall things. So I'm actually going to be showing you the books that I plan on reading this fall, which also includes my five-star predictions. Yeah, and some five-star predictions for this fall. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so now that I looked at it, there's actually a lot more five stars than I thought there would be. So we're gonna separate them. We're gonna, I'm gonna tell you the books that I plan on reading. I don't know if they're gonna be five stars, but we'll start off with those versus the ones that like, I'm like, these are gonna be five stars. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and just start off from the very, very tippy top. And I have Man Eater by Emily Antoinette. This is a Monsters of Moonvale novella. This, I like how I said novella. Is it novella? Yeah, it's novella. I just said it like with a Spanish accent. Novella. <laughs> so in this one, we are basically following a succubus, I think it is. She's like a succubus. So it's a witch looking for connection and a succubus with a soft heart. Oh, and it has D&D &D in it. Okay, so this one, I don't know. This one seems really fun. Seems like a fun old time. I found this author on TikTok. She's one of those like TikTok original authors. And this is a self-published novel. So of course I'm like, I had to get this. I had to get this. Cause I want to do a vlog where I read um, self-published authors on TikTok. So this is one of them. This is one of them. And I'm just excited to get into it because it's a very quick read. It's like not even 200 pages. And it looks like a fun one. So there's the first book that I plan on reading in the fall. The next one that I want to read is this one. Okay, I wasn't planning on reading this one till after Onyx Storm came out because I feel like I'm going to have a dragon hangover. However, that being said, this book was actually on my 24 to read in 2024 and it was like highly anticipated for me. So I'm like, okay, no, I have to read this. All I know is that it's about a fae. And then it's like a dragon person or like a dragon shifter. And it's like, I often saw this like pop up on my Facebook page, like as an ad, like, oh, if you liked Fourth Wing, you would love this. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to give it a try. I haven't read it yet. So this is another one that I'm highly anticipating to read during the fall season. The next one is Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. This is the first book in the epic Farseer trilogy. I know that Robin Hobb has a lot of books within this universe. This one's a trilogy, but there's a lot of books within this universe. And I really want to try out Robin Hobb's writing. I really wanted to get into, like back in the beginning of the year, I was like so amped up to start high fantasy. I started with Brandon Sanderson and I didn't really enjoy his writing style too much. It was a little bit too... It felt a little bit too like childish for me if that makes any sense but even though they were supposed to be like adult fantasy novels so hopefully Robin Hobb has that like high fantasy adult feel and not like that childy feel like it was fun for a little bit but when I want something adultish and it felt like reading a kid's story that's when it was like eh this is okay you know what I mean so I'm hoping that I don't get that feel with this one don't really know what this one is about. All I know is that it's a high fantasy and that it's very beloved, like among the like fantasy people, the people that enjoy high fantasy. So I really want to read this. The next two are going to be horrors and I plan on reading them in October if I get the chance to because I'm going to be doing a vlog where um, I'm going to try to do a vlog anyways, where I let horror universal horror icons like pick what I like the poor books that I read and so these are two of them the first one is I was a teenage slasher by Stephen Graham Jones and in this one we are following a teenage slasher and I think that's it like that's all I know about it so La Mesa Texas July 1989 it's the summer before senior year for best friends Tolly Driver and Amber Dennison 
They're not in the marching band. They're not in the FFA. They don't really count. Bodies are gonna start dropping fast in the small of the West Texas town. It's gonna be my first slasher. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I really wanna read a, strash, a slasher. I'm excited to read a slasher. So hopefully this one gets picked by one of the monsters so that I could read it. The next one is another one. It's one that I've been hearing like a lot of good things about and that is the eyes are the best part by monica kim this is another one that i don't really know what it's about i read what it was about and like it just i completely forgot i completely forgot it says crying in h mart meets my sister the serial killer in this feminist psychological horror about the making of a serial killer from a korean american perspective villain origin story i'm all about it i'm all about it yes yes to this so the next one is my five star book stack okay i think we should start off let's start off with the horror because we're already on a horror roll okay so starting off with incidents around the house by josh mellerman i heard that this one's very creepy very spooky we are following the perspective of an eight-year-old girl and this eight-year-old girl she sees an imaginary friend she has an imaginary friend around the house and this imaginary friend tells her time and you know they seem innocent but then they tell her time and time again can i come into your heart can i come into your heart and the little girl always says no meanwhile all that that while that's happening Things start happening around the house. Little accidents, little incidents, right? And the parents are fighting more and more. Could it be brought by this imaginary person that is not so imaginary? We don't know. So, but I, so I, I'm really excited to read this. I love how we're reading the perspective of a little innocent girl telling this like creepy story. You know what I mean? I'm just, I'm excited for this. Looks scary. I hope it is. I've ha I have high hopes for this one. The next one that I think is going to be a five-star read for me is Stolen Tongues by Felix Blackwell. This has been on my TBR for a while now. This is another book that I have for my 24 to read in 2024. And in this one, we are following a couple as the couple goes to the mountains and then they start to hear things in their little cabin, right? And something is there. Something is near their cabin and haunting it and whatever it is it follows the wife home because after that the wife starts acting different things happen okay and i heard that this one's really scary i've heard a lot of good things from it people say that it's terrifying that it's great we love it and we love spoopiness especially during spoopy season so i have high hopes for this one as well and this one is a predictive five star read for me the next two are going to be Cozy Fantasy, starting with The Spell Shop by Sarah Beth Durst. This is a cozy fantasy book that I really, really want to read. I've had my eye on this one since it was like only on Kindle. I believe it was only on Kindle, if I'm not mistaken. And now they actually came out with a physical copy, so I really wanted to pick this one up. I don't know anything about what this is about, but I like going into cozy fantasy blindly just because, I don't know. And I, I, I find that I really enjoy cozy fantasy. Like, I I love cozy fantasy, okay? I've only read two cozy fantasies so far, but so far they both haven't disappointed. Like, Legends and Lattes, to me, was a four-star read. And Ellie Watts Encyclopedia of Fairies was a five-star read. Like, I it ended up being on one of my top favorite books of 2023. So I really want to start reading more cozy fantasy because, obviously... I think it's my thing okay cozy fantasy is my thing especially when you just want to like just bundle up and not you know like not have to worry about too much excess stuff you know what i mean and problems and next is can't spell treason without tea um and this is also a cozy fantasy steeped with love i believe this is also a sapphic romance about two girls that open up a library together or a bookshop book and tea shop i don't know but it's a cozy fantasy it's sapphic what's not to love <laughs> like what's not to love like i when i want something low stakes and not too like fast paced and just want something like calming relaxing and cute i i think this is gonna like really just hit the right spot at the right moment you know what i mean now the next two that i have for you are fantasy romance both by tiktok authors 
First we have Sleep and Spirit by Courtney Thorne and this is a fantasy rom an adult fantasy romance about this like girl and she basically gets promised by the king her father to get married to all these princes and so she ends up being engaged or being sent to like I think it's like four or five different kingdoms and so she's promised to like four or five different kingdoms and the princes of these four to five different kingdoms and thus a romance ensues maybe a love triangle I don't know but it sounds fantastic this sounds like a very great time I love me some like love triangles and squares and hexagons so <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be a great time so this is another one that I'm going to be reading for the TikTok author's book. Going back to the original TikTok author who wrote the Succubus story, she also wrote this book called Behold Her, A Monsters of Moonvale. This is book one. In this one we are following a woman and I love that she is like thick. Okay, she is thick with two C's. She is plus size. We love a plus size MC. I, I love that so much and a monster this guy's I don't know what he is I don't know what kind of monster it is but this is the one where like I opened it up and the print fell out and my daughter saw like I didn't know I forgot that it had this print there but I didn't know that it was gonna be like r-rated so this is like the more like it's, I mean, it's not kid friendly, but do you get what I mean? This is the more like not R rated one. So you can only imagine what the other side looks like. If this is bad, imagine what this side looks like. It's, it's like obviously, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's kind of be like I'm covering it so you guys can't see it, but you guys can kind of get the gist of what, what's on this. <laughs> But because of this, I, I just, it looks good. What can I tell you? So when I'm in the need for spice, this is going to be my pick. Now the last two are both books from the 24 books that I want to read in 2024. One, I read the, what, the one is a continuation to a series that I really want to just finish up so I can watch the darn show. And the other one is another one that I just, it's a, it's a new book. But everyone says amazing things about it, so I just feel like I'm going to like it. First is The Dark Forest by Susan Liu. This is book two to the three body problem. It is translated by a different person, though. So I wonder, I'm hoping that it still hits as hard as the first book hit, because the first book is literally like, as of right now, we are in September. And it's still like one of the top three books that I've read so far this year. And I've read 60 books this year. Okay, so the fact that it's still one of the top three and it's the first book that I read this year, you know, it, that that's a good thing. That is a good thing. Okay, this one is thicker. And we are continuing the story of the three body problem, which the synopsis is so complex, you guys. Like, I can't even just, I can't even under, like, I can't even, like, tell you guys briefly. Like, I've tried so many times to express a three-body problem, but there's just so many moving pieces to this story that you could just have to check it out for yourself. Just know that it's, like, sci-fi, very, like, uh, very sci-fi, science-y, plays with physics, plays with all kinds of stuff when it comes to like science related things really messes with your mind it keeps you engaged it's very fast paced but it is a book that you literally have to pay attention and it's one that starts off very very confusing like you don't really know what's going on until much later on in the book and that's the point the point is to be as lost as the characters and to slowly start to piece things together with the main characters. And I loved that so much. So this is the second story to that. Can't really explain what this one is about without giving away the first one. 
yeah so that's the dark forest and then lastly but certainly not least we have a book that has been talked about so much and i really want to read it and that is the will of the many by james eilington now this one is a now this is a high fantasy book and we are following our main character who basically lives in the world where people have the the will the people have like the will right and the more will you have the more up there you are in like the the hierarchy and the less will you have the lower you are and the more you have to give your will to other people i believe if i'm not mistaken and so we're following this one character who is pretty much like a spy i think i could be totally butchering this but i think that's what it's about i but i will read the top little portion here it says at the elite Cadenan academy a young fugitive uncovers layered mysteries and world-changing secrets in this new fantasy series by internationally best-selling author of the likeness trilogy james eilington it has a little map here yeah we like the maps we like the maps go maps yeah I'm excited for this one as well. So that is it, you guys. Those are all the books that I want to read during fall of 2024. Wish me luck because this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13. It's 13 books. I could do it. Okay. I thought it was more than that. But, I mean, we do have some big honkers here. We have, like, this one. We have two big honkers. The rest are pretty decent size, but these are, like, the two scary looking ones anyways you guys that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it let me know what your top three books to read in fall are and also let me hit the like button because it really helps out my channel hit the subscribe button turn on that notification bell if you haven't if you haven't yet been subscribed i post videos twice to three times a week and last but certainly not least leave a little a little tea emoji for can't spell treason without tea. Anyways, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!